Hello, welcome to Maths with Jay. The most important thing with an equation like this is to know how to start to deal with it. And what's important here is that you know that if you've got a number raised to the power of two numbers, like a to the power of m times n, then we know that we can think of that as either a to the m or to the n, or a to the n or to the m. So in this particular question, what we want to do is to rewrite it so that the unknown only appears in, in one place, in a sense. What we're thinking about is at the moment we've got 3 to the 2x and 3 to the x, so the unknown is, in, uh, is appearing in two places and in two different ways. But if we could write both of them in the same sort of way, then we'd have a quadratic. So what we're going to do in this question is we're going to write the 3 to the 2x as 3 to the x all squared. So in fact we're using the fact that we can write this sort of thing as a to the n to the m, aren't we? Right, so once we've realised that, then it becomes straightforward. So we're going to write 3 to the x all squared, and then the rest of the equation will stay the same. And now you can see that what we've got is something squared minus 10 times that something plus 9 is 0. So we've got a quadratic. And to make it even more obvious, let's actually make a substitution. So we're going to let y equal that something. y is 3 to the x. So now this will look even more like a straightforward quadratic. So all we're trying to do, first of all, is to find y. So let's factorise this. So we're looking for two numbers that multiply to 9 and that um, add up to negative 10. So we've got minus 1 and minus 9. So we know that y must be 1 or 9. And remember that y was actually 3 to the x. So now writing 3 to the x again. So 3 to the x is 1 or it's 9. Now if these were difficult numbers, you could use your calculator to, uh, to work out what x is. You could take logs of both sides. But very straightforward here because we know that really we've effectively got powers of 3, haven't we? So that anything to the power of 0 is 1, so x is 0 if 3 to the x is 1. And we know that if 3 to the power of something is 9, then that something must be 2, because 3 squared is 9. And then, of course, we want to check our answer, or answers, I should say. So first of all, let's check x equals 0. So that would give us substituting back into the original equation, 3 to the power of 2 times 0 minus 10 times 3 to the 0 plus 9. So 3 to the 0 is 1, so we've got 1 minus 10 plus 9. So that is equal to 0, so x equals 0 is a solution. And then let's check x equals 2. And that will give us 3 to the power of 2 times 2, so 3 to the 4 minus 10 times 3 squared plus 9. And that's going to be 81 minus 10 nines, so that's minus 90 plus 9. And that again is 0, so we know that our answers are correct. <laughs> 